Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Chase the Dream Hooper versus Felipe Cabo Kyle Corrales. <clears throat> Chase Hooper, 10 wins, 2 losses, 1 draw, a plus 140 underdog, which we'll get into that. 22 years old, still only 22. 6 1 with a 75 and a half inch reach. Uh, he's uh, three and two in his last five fights. One and two in his last three. Um, he beat Dano Tamer ground and pound. Finished him. Lost to Alex Caceres. It's kind of a classic Alex Caceres. Uh, Bruce, uh, Bruce Leroy performance. She kind of overwhelmed him. Showed that um, Chase Hooper needed to work on his stand up a little bit. That he couldn't just accept or think that he's going to get him right down to the ground. Uh, and then he defeated Peter Barrett by heel hook. Barrett was winning the fight and then played the game a little bit too much with Chase Hooper and got submitted for it. Then he lost to Steven Peterson, even though I thought his stand-up looked way, way better. I thought that fight was very, very close, and I didn't think uh, Chase got the credit that he should have in that fight. I thought he looked good. He looked better. So I'm expecting him to come out in this fight also better with his uh, striking least. Like I said, he's fighting Felipe Corrales uh, two and three in his last five fight fights. Lost to uh, Gernaldo De Frentes decision three years ago. Beat uh, Domingo Pilarte by split. Lost to Montel Jackson two years ago. That's when he got beat up. And then beat Luke Sanders a year ago. And then seven months ago, lost to Chris Gutierrez by split. 28 years old, 5'8", with 69 and a half inch reach. That's what, 6 inch reach disadvantage. So you already know he's going to be looking for the takedown, looking to close the distance, and he's going to play that game. Now, the question is, can Chase Hooper, <clears throat> can Chase Hooper um, do his ground game with the top-heavy game of Philly Bay Corrales? I not it's hard because it's it's a hard thing to ask because Felipe Corrales, like I said, his top game when he's on the ground, he's very very strong. He's very heavy. He typically doesn't do a whole lot unless he like he's not going to be sloppy. Like, he's not going to give a ton of openings to Chase Hooper. He may lose the decision like that. I'm gonna go with Chase Hooper. I think at the end of the day, if Felipe Cor uh, Corrales is allowed is able to get takedowns throughout the fight. I think that third round, or deep in the second, is going to be key for Chase Hooper. I think he's going to end up having more energy. I think his cardio is going to be better than Felipe Corrales's. Um, and I think Chase Hooper is going to be able to get the finish late in the second or in the third round. So I have Chase Hooper getting back on track. It's just, this is a great matchup for Chase Hooper. It just is. Chase Hooper, your winner. Uh, like I said, he's a plus 140 underdog. You probably could find some pretty good odds on that, so... You know what it is. As always, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up as hard as you possibly can. Leave a comment down below. And you guys already know what it is.